Welcome back to the channel. This one right here is about to be different, all right? I'm taking it to a whole nother level. I'm about to show you in this video how to create mock-ups for your clothing brand. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's dive straight in, all right? So I'm about to teach you how to make a realistic t-shirt mock-up for your brand. All right, so the reason why I'm creating this video is because I made a video with Hustle Ninja a couple months ago where we showed you guys how to make a design from scratch. All right, and in that video at the very end, I actually put that design on a mock-up, but I didn't show the step-by-step -step process of creating that mock-up. So I seen a few comments, I seen the people, seen a couple of people saying, hey, how did you make that? So I wanted to come and create this video for y'all, for everybody that's trying to make t-shirt mock-ups themselves. All right, so this right here is gonna be a totally free process. Um, we're gonna have to do some a, a little finessing, you know, to get it done, but Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So on the screen right now, I have uh, you know our new t-shirts that we just released on World Envision website, and we're using a mock-up. So we, we combined this up with uh, a photo shoot, and we did mock-ups. And the reason why you want to use a mock-up, and why I would recommend using mock-ups, if you want to keep your aesthetic of your website very, very clean, if you want to have like white background, or you want it to blend in with the color of your site, Sometimes I use a mock-up as the first picture, and then I and then I also have um, the photo shoot for the next photos. All right. So what this allow is to keep my site aesthetic very clean, and it also allows the customer to see the actual product on the model. All right. So I'm about to show you how to make this right here yourself for free. All right. So you're gonna need to have Adobe Photoshop. So if you do not have Adobe Photoshop, make sure you go and download this. You can get a 14-day trial, so you can pump out some mock-ups within 14 days, all right? So once you have Photoshop, what you wanna do is go to Google. Go to Google and type in T-shirt template PNG. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a bunch of T-shirts that pop up. You're gonna click on images, all right? And before you download any T-shirt mock-up, what you're gonna do is go to tools, Change size to large. This is gonna keep your graphics very, very high quality, all right? We're not, we're not making no, no low quality stuff, all right? This is all high quality, all right? So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a bunch of t-shirt templates, hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands, all right? It's gonna be a lot of them. But I wanna show you how to make a realistic t-shirt, all right? So you're gonna see somewhere they're flat. This is a flat mock-up. This will be some more of a, a realistic mock-up. And shout out to all of the companies that's being shown on, from these Google images. Uh, I'm not stealing none of y'all work. I'm just using this video to educate our audience, all right? So hopefully you get some promotion out of this. So you can actually go at the top. And we're gonna, like I said, we're not gonna do flat t-shirt. We're gonna do realistic, all right? So we're gonna change this to t-shirt realistic template and make sure you switch the size to large again. Um, and it's going to have a bunch of t-shirt mock-ups that pop up. The one that catches my eye automatically is this one uh, from Vec Vectezy. It is a licensed mock-up, so I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to go through here, try to find an unlicensed mock-up, and then I'm going to hop back on to show you how we transfer our design to a t-shirt. Right? And if you want to go to sites... Um, that have these mock-ups that you can pay for, you can do that. But I'm gonna try to just find something on the internet, something that's unlicensed, something that nobody owns, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that thing in Photoshop, all right? Be back in a couple of seconds. All right, I'm back. I found the exact T-shirt that I was looking for, some on a little more oversized level, all right? It looked like a like a boxy tee. So this, this, this super fly right here. We already have our document pulled up in Photoshop, and now all we need to do is go and find our design. But before we find a design, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the t-shirt color. All right, so right now it's white. All you're gonna do is click on this and you're gonna go to color overlay. What's gonna happen is it's gonna put an overlay of a color, but it's not gonna keep the realistic elements. What you're gonna change normal to is multiply. All right, and this only will work if the mock-up is a white t-shirt. If the mock-up is a black t-shirt, I want you to go ahead on and use screen or lighten to actually change the color of a black. But because this is white, we're gonna use multiply. So I wanna actually go with a black t-shirt. I'm not gonna go all the way black because it, it, it loses its elements. I'm gonna go more dark gray, but it still looks black. And we're gonna hit okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up our design. For this video, we're gonna use this unreleased World Envision t-shirt design. All right, so I'm gonna copy that, go to Photoshop, paste as a pixel. Look at that, look at that, already looking nice. I hope that you're enjoying this video. I hope you're getting so much value out of this video, all right? I need you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and do not forget about our 100 free t-shirt giveaway, all right? Who's gonna be the next winner? Who's gonna be the next winner when we hit 70,000 subscribers? I need you to go ahead on and comment right now. Let us know why you need those shirts, and let's get back into this video. All right, we're gonna throw this on the front. Oh, that's actually nice, nice. Bring this back, grab the back of this. Hit paste. All right, and then check this out. I'm gonna go ahead on in and change this to lighten so it could kind of blend in with the actual color of the shirt. And there you have it. You actually have a black t-shirt with our logo. So for those of y'all out there that were struggling with creating a mock-up, I hope that this solved your problem, all right? Now, what you want to do is use these mock-ups with real photos. So you don't want to have somebody come to your site and it's all mock-ups, all right? You still want to have real photos of your garments because this is going to allow them to see how this garment actually fits in real life, all right? When you're selling online, sometimes it's hard to really show the consumer or the customer what they are actually buying so with a mock-up i like to use mock-ups just to keep the site aesthetic very very clean but i like to enhance mock-ups by having other photos uh that the customer could browse through all right so i hope this made you guys uh life a bunch more easier go ahead on and drop in the comments let me know what y'all would like to see next and don't forget about our 70k giveaway all right we almost done so make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and if you're looking to build your brand this is the channel to build your brand with all right so we're gonna be dropping a video every single week all right mondays every single week and we just want to help you expand if you want to continue your knowledge continue to get inside of that environment because some of y'all that's watching this video do not have the correct environment to build a successful business all right so i'm not just trying to show you how to create a successful clothing brand I'm trying to help you create multiple successful companies, all right? And in order to do this, you need to get around people that's also doing it and not doing it small, doing it big, all right? So make sure you join our free Facebook group. Link gonna be in the description. Man, this one was crazy. This one was different. I told y'all at the beginning of the video, I was gonna take y'all behind the scenes, all right? And show y'all exactly how we do it, all right? And to even make this um, process a lot more smoother, make sure you save your mock-up templates. You want to save your mock-up templates so whenever you go and create these mock-ups over and over again and change the colors, guess what? You can go back to this document. All right, I just gave y'all the hacks. All right, I just gave y'all the, the hacks, the tricks, the tips for growing your brand. All right, make sure y'all subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Let's get it.